this video, I'm rolling with Santino. Santino is the owner's son. <laughs> He's my professor's son. He is also a black belt. He's been a black belt for a long time, and he started training very young and is still very young. So here he goes, submitting me before I could even make his intro. That was a great counter because that's the back take that I love to do. And he counted it with a footlock, which was just beautiful. Also, he starts with that front foot pointed in to avoid the Delahiva instead of out, which I find very interesting. There he tried to step around. I was able to put my foot in his waist and get a hook. Here again, he just fell back on my foot. This time it's a heel hook. I'm laughing at how easy he was able to secure that. I would say his body type is more like Nicky Ryan. Compact, thick, strong. There he did a nice knee slide. I was able to get my legs back in. Get some type of weak quarter guard there. Now he's freeing his other foot by kicking my knee. And he went to mount, but I'm blocking his foot. He's probably looking for the mounted triangle, but I can't speak for him. So from there, he was still looks like he might be looking for the mounted triangle, but after I defend it enough, he just takes the arm bar. That's Big Billy, the white belt in the background, rolling with Paul, who's a new black belt. So it took him a few, maybe 30 seconds to finish that on bar. So now he's trying to pull me into his guard. He decided he would play guard a little bit. I think I asked him if he was ticklish just there. Yeah, right there. And I think he said he was, so I should have went with that escape. So here I'm trying to hollow out my hips so we can't make a leg connection and pass his guard. But his guard just seems all consuming. Here he has my left hand. He began that triangle setup by grabbing my left hand and I wasn't able to free the grip and I was trying to back out. And now I'm in triangle land. And even though he wasn't squeezing or going crazy, it was on perfectly. The need to tap was immediate. So here I'm trying to push down his knee. There I'm going side to side. He's obviously very confident. He's not grabbing my wrists. He's not trying to make upper body control. He's literally just holding me off with his legs. I haven't made a committed attack yet, but I'm trying to feel it out. So again, rolling left to right, uh, trying to kick his hook off. Trying to kick back to free that. I'm in an actual pretty good position here. Up until there. <laughs> now he has me back. Not only back, but again, he grabbed my left hand so I couldn't defend, and then he brought his leg up before I could even notice it, really. I had to watch the video to see both of those triangles applied. Really well. And I'm glad, again, I'm glad I have this on video because it taught me something about triangle application. And there he goes. He does a foot pick on me, an ankle pick. My favorite move. One of my favorites.
Now I got a kind of open guard. My foot's on his hip. I'm looking for a sweep there. He counted it very easily. It's, you know, the invisible jiu-jitsu counts too. You don't always see the way people are placing their weight. You can't see that on a video. You have to feel it. Anyway, that ends the round. And now, this is another open mat. I combined both of these videos because these rounds were relatively short. So this is Eddie. Eddie is probably 230 pounds. Now, he's a newer black belt, I believe. Newer meaning only a couple of years he's been a black belt, whereas Santino, I think it's been oh, a long time, four or five years, especially for a, a, a someone so young. So Eddie is about 44. He's, a, he's around my age in the sense that he's only uh, seven years younger than me. So the role starts out the way I think a lot of times is I just want to see if I can fend somebody off with my guard. I know my passing, my ability to pass somebody's guard is going to be better than my ability to fend them off, but I want to feel both. So now he's getting low, he's trying to pin my legs and pass. I was able to free. He's putting that leg deep in there and pressuring my thigh. This is a common move by a lot of students at this school to beat the Delahiva. But my legs are so long, I still have it. And I have my right foot on his hip. And there I'm looking for the reverse arm bar. And then he put weight down and I slithered away. That's Marek in the background sitting, the boss of the level, so to speak, as he's been called. It's really hard to make connections on Eddie. Again, as usual, he's much stronger than me. And he uses it. So there I was able to get the tripod sweep. Now in my head, or most people would try to rush right into a guard pass off of that, but I slowed myself down and I went in thoughtfully because I know that all that he's, I don't know all that he's capable of, but it's what I don't know that scares me. So there he's trying to roll into something. I switched to the other side to pass his guard. He's looking, probably thinking Kimura there. I'm looking to be incremental. I like to grab the, his right wrist with both of my hands. I love to get a double wrist control there and then just pull myself by if possible. It's hard to break structurally. It's like my hands are right there. They're underneath me. But he's holding me back with his left hand on my right arm, which I've never really felt before. He's trying to bring his leg around. I wanted to keep the inside line. So there I felt like his legs were open a little too wide and I was able to just bring my knee into the middle and start creating knee pressure or knee slide, threatening something. Also, I'm trying to figure out his guard. I've only rolled with him a handful of times. I'm not sure what he really, what his game really is yet. Again, I'm switching side to side, hollowing out my hips. Again, this works better in nogi. Looking for the two on one here. He's kicking off my grips, he's making space. He's looking to wrestle up here. I, and I was able to uh, push him back and almost get a guard pass here. I'm holding his head, that, that prevents him from slithering away, and then if he gives turns, he'll give me his back, which is what happened there. There he's Granby rolling out, and I went to like a knee, a knee drag position, and then he made more space, and we basically reset the position. That ends the round. But if you enjoy these videos, and you get content out of these value out of my content, Please 
feel free to support the channel. I have a uh, merchandise store. I also have a buy me a coffee link. Both are in the description. I appreciate everyone. Please like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you.